got this 72 inch mower deck on this Hustler. So the Hustler Z. We got some bearings. I don't know if they're the right ones, but we're going to try to take these spindles apart and put some bearings in them. First thing we're going to do is 19 or 3 quarter, take that pulley. And right there is the shaft. I don't know if our bearings are right. And then you're going to release that chain so you can take the tension off the belt. Because we're going to take the belt off of these. We'll just do one at a time. We can just put the belt up over it. Put it back out of the way. Now we'll see if we can get that pulley up off of there. Okay, so now we're looking for city set screws that might be in it. And right here is I got threads, but I don't see any screws on them. It's a pin wall, I see. Trying to teach one. There's two of them in it. They look about the same, don't they? Yeah. They're screwed in it. Thing is, you don't want to bend the pulley, so don't pry hard. There's three screws here in the middle. I don't know if they're. Sometimes they'll be threaded, and that's the way how you get them off of there. This is coming. You got any? There, it is. there we are. Like I say, you just cannot force. You can't force that off of there because you'll bend this pulley. And you got the keyway still in the pulley, so we're just gonna leave that like it is for now. Actually, we'll take the bell washer and this. And now, theoretically, that should just come down out of there. I'm gonna block the wood in a big hammer. This is where a brass hammer would be awesome. We're going to go ahead and put the bolt in there. That way we beat on the head of the bolt. Got to either get the deck up in the air. Where do I have to anyway? Get the deck up there. How far? Want to pick it all up? Yeah, let's pick it all up. Okay. See where I did that? That shaft coming down out of there. So it should. And there's one bearing with it. That's good. Okay, there's that. That's the spacer, right? Here's the spacer that goes in between them, and here's the bearing, which comes right off. And if you notice the little protrusion, the extra part, it sticks out down toward the bottom, and it's going to do the opposite on the top. So now, our bearing we got. They sent us is this bearing here, and this is what we need. So it looks like we definitely got the wrong bearing. So when you're knocking them out, it don't matter. You can just hit anywhere on here, and it'll knock that bearing right about it. Shouldn't be that hard to knock out. Yeah, it's coming. 
try to, yeah, try to lower you. There it is. So now, after you do this, what you're going to do is you're going to clean all the old crap out of that spindle and everything so it's nice and clean when you put the new bearings in, even though they're sealed. Just, it's a good time to get that out of there. You're not in there very often. You probably can't see, but we did clean that out in there. Try to get all the old pretty grease. Now we do have this up in the air. We've got a block under it. Um, jack them up and secure them however you feel fit. Here's the old bearing. Here's a new bearing, so it looks like we're getting the right ones this time. So that's what we got. And then we're just going to tap on the outside of this bearing and get it up in there. Try to tap on the outside and you're tapping it up in something like that. There. Now this socket fits the outside race. So I should be able to And when you get that up in there, you hear the change of sound. Here it gets solid. That's telling you you're all the way up in. So now, now don't forget to put some grease in here. And we wiped it all out of there. You want to keep some grease in there just to help keep the moisture down to stop things from rusting. I don't know if we'll show this part on everyone or not because we get our fingers greasy and then get on the camera. Yeah, that'll be enough. Put that in there and then there's some grease around that goes in. So now when you put that shaft up in there, that will kind of re-grease itself for you. Next thing we're going to do is take a socket. And we're going to push that bearing down in there. You want to make sure you do it with a socket or something so you hit the outside of the bearing. You can hear how it changed noises. That means you're bottomed out. Now we'll just shove that um, the shaft up in there. Now if you wanted to, you could take and um, put some never seeds on the inside of the pulley. It will wiggle a little bit because of that sleeve. Hang on a second, don't do nothing. Try it now to center the sleeve up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. See, if you want to, you can put a little bit of grease in here. Then we're going to put our pulley on there. Try not to fill that center hole full of grease. Tighten this bolt back down. That way the shaft has a little bit of grease on it and the inside behind that spacer has some grease to help control moisture, but that shaft has a little bit of grease on it. The next time you try to take it out, it won't stick to that sleeve inside. Okay, now we'll just take the other pulley off in the middle one. And then we'll see if that pulley comes right off like the other one did. Um, I don't try to put this under there. Remember, if it don't just come by itself, 
then you're going to want to do something else because you don't want to bend this pulley. bearings are old and we don't care about them there's a keyway in there you see you can't just drive it down too easy I put just a bolt in there with no washer give it a couple of taps and see what happens so I can get it to move so I got it going a little bit and um, you can destroy a bolt if you don't hit it square this way and I wasn't hitting it that hard coming but just being a grump. Let me see if I can get a longer bolt. Now I don't have a longer bolt. You can see that went way down in there so the pulley's almost off. I'm gonna take the back end of this and tap it. Don't beat that very hard like that because them threads in there you don't want to mess them up. This might drop out on the ground. It's going to Okay, there's our pulleys off. So now we can go back to our boat. I'd rather mess the boat up than I would our threads on the spindle shaft. Yeah. All the way down in there. Okay. I don't think it's gonna take much to do it. Where do I put my hammer? Oh my gosh! Oh, well, there's my hammer. Ready? So now we gotta go back up on top and finish. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just like the last time, I'm gonna take this down below I'm going to shove that up in there and then he can shove the pulley on there and um, put the bolt in there. Now you can do this with one person but it's easier if you got two. Especially if you're not taking the whole spindle out. Didn't come out there and hit me in the nog. 
Is that bearing lift all the way down? I think. I didn't have no play in it. And it's, this ought to pull it a little bit. And they slide free enough. To, Okay. Now does it spin free? Yep. Any no play in the blade? No play. Alrighty. It's solid. We be rolling now. We be rolling. Okay. Rolling down the One more. One more way to go. Belt is junk, right? The belt is junk. Okay, so that's probably why we're jumping all around. When that spring, I knew it. A lot of times when they jump like that, a lot of times the belt. Yeah. It's a big crack, if you look at the video before this one, you'll see it running what we're talking about. Yeah. We don't have a new belt quite yet, so you might Oops. see it in this one too. Yeah, she broke almost in half. Yeah. Okay, off with this and the bell washer now here looky it's a little different eh we got some bolts in this one so i don't know if they had a problem or if this is an aftermarket one or just what but we're about to take these two bolts out look like maybe 916 okay so we just take them bolts out of there and do the whole thing of bob again Maybe I'm wrong, but if you do something like this and put bolts back in, you always want to tighten the bolt at the key first. At least that's what I always do. I just want to them out. Of that way there's no... If, ands, or buts. No doubts if you take them out. And if you do have to, it's another spot to spray a little bit of penetrant oil if you have to. See the problem with doing what we did with the putting the bolt in there and driving it down, you gotta watch to make sure it's moving. And you're hoping the keyway stays with the pulley, not on the spindle shaft. staying in place. So that's good. I'm good. And if you had a little bit longer bolt, I would suggest doing it that way. See, I'm getting afraid now to pound the bolt. Well, I guess I have quite a few threads in there. I can do it one more time. You don't want to pound on that bolt if you only got one or two threads in it. Yeah, dang it. You gotta watch, if you go too far down, the head of that bolt gets caught on that um, keyway. Now again, if these don't come easy, don't try to destroy stuff. You might have to come up with a different plan. Some pulleys, I don't think this one is, but you might be able to put bolts in here, self-tappers in these three holes. You might be able to pull it off that way. You want to make sure it's in there enough threads that you're not destroying them. Now, if you're doing the bearing for the first time there, you might have to push that sleeve in the middle over to the side a little bit. So there's that one in the sleeve. Now I know it's come out to underneath. 
and pop that up. Yep, yep, yep. Amazing what just a little bit of light can do for you. That way, right? Correct. Nothing goes down. washer on and the bolt and we tighten it up it ought to pull it all together you don't want to try to pull it together for a long ways but this is already together basically we're just tightening down okay feel good yeah solid to me I try to add a clip to that middle one, but here, see there is no play in them blades. Now we just noticed, on top of this mower spindle deck is a Bellevue washer, I call it a bell washer. If you notice, it's kind of humped up in the middle. Okay, that's correct. If you look at the ones on the side spindles here, see how the washer's cupped down in? instead of up over. You want it to be bumped up in the middle because when you push the bolt down, tighten it down, it flattens that washer out. So whenever that washer is flattened out, it's kind of like a spring. It's always holding tension against that bolt. So if that bolt would start to come loose or something like that, you'd have a little bit of movement before the washer, you know, completely uncollapsed. Here, I'll, I got a new one. I'll show you what I'm talking about now. See that washer sets flat that way. I put it this way. See how it moves around. So the theory is, like I say, when the bolt tightens down, it pushes this washer out, flattens it, so that this is always trying to come back up and that leaves tension on that bolt all the time. That way it can't come loose as easy. If you have problems where you have a bell washer and the bolt comes loose or something, First thing to do is replace the bell washer. Here's that bell. I have more than one break. Oops. Right so right here is part of the break. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. Look at that. And back here is a better one. So the belt hasn't come in yet, so we're not putting it on yet. 